It was really in, in 2016 that we made our big strategic decision. The first thing we did was we said we'd be a cloud first company. The second thing that we did was that we said we'd shut down our mega data centers, which was a big call for us because we've got um, uh, big centers in the US, the UK and Europe. And then we'd underpin that all with Digital Foundations program. We've sought to modernize the landscape as part of the migration. We have moved away from proprietary legacy databases onto SAP's ASE and HANA databases. We've tried to really maximize the potential the AWS environment gives to us, which is we don't have to have spare capacity sitting around for those moments during an annual business cycle that need higher levels of compute. We recently just moved a, a 16 terabyte system. It's a very large SAP system uh, that runs our fuels business, so customer fuel supply. This is a business that runs 24 by seven, so you can't afford to disrupt it because you disrupt the fuel supplies end to end across the company. What we did is had a 60 hour window, and then during the migration, we actually used the power of AWS to accelerate it. One of those things that uh, AWS has been really good at working with us on is, is helping us develop, develop training programs, helping come in with their professional services teams to support our engineers in developing their skills. We've just recently announced this week that we're all in with AWS as our partner to exit our European mega data centers. And we're going to be partnering with AWS here to migrate over 900 business critical applications out of our uh, European mega data centers all onto AWS.